Arriving at the train station in Minsk, the capital of Belarusia, Alexander Frisch unpacks his prop box. Taking his cue from the days when performers and animals paraded to the circus grounds, he provides onlookers with a preview of his act. Frisch has worked in Minsk before. He knows its streets well. He will join a troupe that is already performing in the elegant circus building. For each new engagement, he must train an assistant to work with him in the arena. Frisch spends hours with the musicians and technicians so the puzzle pieces of the act will fit together perfectly. One of the reasons Frisch is so fond of the circus is because it gives him the opportunity to work with children. Here at the sports palace of the railway station workers union, local youngsters study circus arts. Frisch gives his time to coach them. Вперед перед собой и медленно, медленно, медленно. И, и сразу улыбка должна быть. He demonstrates how comedy can be found anywhere, even in a hat. And the youngsters take pride in showing him a lavish number they have assembled for amateur performances. his opening day at the circus, Frisch has invited some of the promising youngsters from the sports palace to join him backstage. Bubbling with ambition to become professionals, these young performers are offered their first peek at circus life behind the scenes. Frisch explains that in preparation and performance, even the tiniest details make a difference. Frisch says his heart has been in the circus from the day his father picked up three potatoes in their kitchen 
and started to juggle. He dreamed of having any job in the circus. When he became a roustabout, Frisch carried his broom in a trombone cover, pretending he was already a performer. The inspiration for his act came from a photograph he saw of a Czechoslovakian performer juggling boxes. Frisch taught himself to do it, retreating to the forest because his neighbors couldn't stand the noise of his rehearsal. Once, when he was on tour in Tokyo, some of the boxes fell from the stage into the audience. The Japanese children rushed to pick them up for him. Since then, the participation of children has been a hallmark of his act. <laughs> It's essential that kids see for themselves there is no secret here, he explains. These are just plain kindergarten blocks without any magnets or devices. I like what I'm doing, Fish says. When there is an arena and you are under the circus dome with the audience above you, well, I'd never change that.